Hello YouTubers, this is EMDSD14R with the final update on the RP4D slug that I'm custom making for my friend Radisson. As you guys can see, she's fully dry and she's sporting engine black paint all the way around. I just went outside and um, got her out of the paint box today because I, I let her dry it overnight outside. I used natural air for that. As you can see, I got the strobe lights on. I just put those on like not even a minute ago and they're fully dry, more or less. I also added a three chime air horn on the roof, as you can see. Everything's fully dry. Turn it around here so you guys can see the steps. Those are the steps right there. And then there's the rest of the unit. There's the back. And then there's the other side. You can still see the Pacific right there, but that's not going to be too bad. I think she came out pretty good. Wish I had some modeling putty to fill in those cracks better, but I don't have it, so it came out better than what I thought. Way better than what I thought. Got the lenses in there. You guys can probably see that. And the horns. Three chime. All I'm waiting for is for my friend Steven, uh, 8979, to send me the Jeep 35 chassis for it. And I'll put it on the chassis after I put the coupler boxes on. And she'll be ready to go. That's what the underbody looks like. I painted the inside black too. And then steps right there I got the steps pretty good on both ends um, but this unit does look good it really really for my first attempt at making this unit it came out it came out great and I think it's really really awesome so you guys subscribe and comment on this video because I will be making more of these um, I'll be making at least two more of these and probably a six axle one and by the way I also have my own little business um, called Richardson Locomotive Productions um, I customize um, regular train uh, regular uh, locomotives like your occasional SD38 2 and others. I also custom build locomotives and cars like slugs as you guys can see here. Um, and I also do a lot of the work that I do um, involves uh, ch nose chopping. I have very good experience with that. That's my SD14R right there. And my Jeep14R. And I also do eyeball locomotives. These are all these are eyeball locomotives. Jeep 14 and the SD14. And the Jeep 42M is also an eyeball. Um, I don't know if I'll be making a production line of that, but if you guys are interested in your own versions of it, just let me know. Um, so I'm, yeah, I am starting a business, um, and I weather. I actually weather too. I did that car a while back. I did this ballast car. And I weathered this PRR X29 box car. Which came out pretty good. I got the grime on there. You guys seen this before in other videos. But it came out excellent. And then there's the roof. So I, I do weather. Um, as I said before, I do do locomotives. That's for my friend Steven8979. It's got DCC in it. 
already. So, just to let y'all know, when y'all, when uh, when I get some more time and more money, just uh, hit me up, and I'll make some unique locomotives for you that no one else has ever seen or even heard of. Um, and if you want your own versions of the RP40 Slug, um, I would be happy to do that. Um, at the moment, I don't have any materials at all to, to make another one or make any locomotives right now. And uh, but I, I, I will let you guys know that. But my company's called Richardson Locomotive Productions. I don't have a website yet, but I will soon. So you guys can go directly to my page when I get the website up, and uh, I'll probably post that up on a video or whatever that I make in the future. Um, I'll probably post it up in the future so you guys know where to go. And the prices will be up there um, and everything. So, you guys be cool. Um, Radisson, I hope, hopefully when you get this in the mail, you'll contact me on my phone and let me know that you got it. And that's when I'll upload these vi uh, the, the the videos, the uh, building videos that I showed on YouTube um, up on Facebook. But I'm not going to upload them before you get it because technically right now um, my fellow YouTubers, uh, he doesn't know that I actually finished it. So I'm actually surprising him. He he contacted me on Facebook yesterday asking if I had my glue and I kind of kind of told him a lie. I kind of said, I yeah, I had the glue but the glue was all hard and everything and I had to dig out what I could and then use what I, you know, use what was left. But um, this is definitely a surprise locomotive for him. He asked me to do it, but he doesn't know it's finished yet, so that's the whole surprise part. Um, he, he'll be flipped out when he sees this, so you guys be cool and I hope you like, like this and I'll see you later. Peace, y'all. Peace.